Hi there and as always thank you for joining me. In this video which is quite a short one really we are looking at just one particular skill. We are tackling a question that might just land in the middle of your GCSE exams and that is the calculation of the volume of a cylinder. So let's get on with it. So let's start by actually having a look at what a cylinder is because that will give us a clue as to how we start to figure out its volume. A cylinder is simply a special type of prism and if we look up the definition of a prism it is a three-dimensional object which has the same cross section all the way through its length and two opposite ends parallel to each other. So if we examine this more closely, we have a circle on this end. There is a circle on the other end of the cylinder. Imagine a can of fruit or a can of beans. And then we have a whole length, which is the same throughout the length. If you were to cut this cylinder into slices, each slice would be a circle. Now that we recognize that it's a prism, it gives us a clue as to how we need to to figure out the volume. The volume means its size. The way we work out the volume of any prism, and I do have another video covering this if you want to take a look at it, is to first of all we need to work out the area of the end here. Once we've worked out the area of the end, that's the difficult part done because all we then have to do is to multiply it by its length. That is the rule for any prism. The fact that today we're talking about cylinders means, of course, we are working with the area of a circle. We therefore need to understand how to find the area of a circle. So let's take a look at this one. We are, of course, going to use the formula that the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. It may well be that you are simply given the radius, as in this case, the radius here is four centimeters. Maybe in a question, you are given the complete diameter and are told that that is eight centimeters. So of course, given the diameter, you need to divide that by two to find the radius. Now let's do this. So area is equal to pi is three, 0.142 for our purposes. Of course, on a calculator, if you press the pi button, you'll get a much longer decimal, but we only need to use 3.142 in a GSE exam, and that is going to be multiplied by the radius, which is four, and that's squared. So in other words, it's 3.142 times 16 and this gives us an answer of 50.272 and of course because we are working out area it's centimeters squared it may well be an exam question that you were asked to give this to the nearest centimeter or one or two decimal places just for this example i'm going to give it to the nearest centimeter so 50 centimeters squared it is important to read the question here to make sure you are giving your answer to the required level of accuracy. Now, let's take that back to our original cylinder. So we have worked out, I'm going to give it exactly the same radius, it's the same circle. So we now know that the area of the end is to the nearest centimeter, 50 centimeters. That really is the hard part done because the only other information we need now is the length of the cylinder. Let's say this is 12 centimeters. All we need to be doing is looking now for the volume, which is 50 times 12. And 50 times 12 is 600. Not to forget, we are now dealing with volume. Therefore, it is now centimeters cubed. Let's just go through this again with a different cylinder, just to make sure we've picked this up. This time we have a cylinder stood up, we have its radius, and we have 
its height. So again, first thing we're going to do is work out the area of the end of the cylinder. So again, it is pi r squared. Pi r squared is just something that you need to memorize to learn as the formula for the area of any circle. So pi r squared again is 3.142 times and this time it's 6 squared. So that equals 3.142 times 36. Get your calculator out. That will come to 113.112 centimetres. This is area, so centimetres squared. This time I'll leave it with three decimal places. So now we have the area of the end of the cylinder. All we need to do is take that measurement 113.112 and we need to multiply it by the height in the previous situation it was the length because the cylinder was on its side but it's the same measurement it's the length of the cylinder and it is four so we end up with 452.448 as the volume so because it is volume we are going centimeters cubed and that's volume of a cylinder. To put it into its actual formula, if you think about what you've just done, you have worked out the area of the circle, so you have used pi r squared. You then multiply it by its height, so in total it's pi times r squared times its height. Don't be put off by the previous example where the cylinder was on its side. That is, yes, it is length, but it's the same measurement. It's the measurement along the length of the cylinder and that's it the volume of a cylinder so what do we need to remember pi r squared the area of the circle again be really careful as to how accurate they want you to give the answer is it to the nearest centimeter or nearest one two decimal places i did mention that i have another video about prisms and how to find the volume of other kinds of prisms so please take a look at that as well. My subscribe button is appearing at the bottom around about now. Please do subscribe and take a look at some of my other videos. Thank you for joining me.